Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new truck in American Truck Simulator. That is the Freightliner Cascadia. Very excited to see this truck. It is one of the most popular highway trucks in the United States, so it is cool to see it now in the game. So, um, I'm sure you guys are going to be wondering where do you guys get these trucks from. It's in the game. You just have to go to the dealership and purchase it. So I'm going to show you guys the three locations that you guys can purchase it from currently we are in st george utah and if you could look if you can see right behind me you see the freightliner logo and two freightliners day cab sitting in the yard which looks awesome so that's your first look at it we're gonna head over there and check them out real quick i'm gonna just jump to the world map so i can show you guys exactly where we are located so this is utah and you go down to the southern western portion of st george and right near the garage is going to be the dealership right there. Your other two are located, uh, one in Fort Collins, Colorado. So right up here in Colorado, Fort Collins, Colorado. And the last one is going to be in California, which is down here in Oxnard. So you could go to any of these three locations to get the new Freightliner truck. Now let's hop into our truck here. We are using the wheel camera today as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started up. And let's go check out the new truck, guys. Now we are using everything. We have our wheel camera. We also have track IR. If you guys see this thing on my hat, these clips. That is track IR and also this receiver up here on my monitor. And what that does is wherever I look in real life, it basically does the same thing in the game, which is awesome. We got a lot of traffic on that side, so we're going to hold up for a second until we are clear to go. Oh my god. Oh, it's just non-stop traffic. I'm excited, guys. I need to go. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't think anybody was coming. Oh my goodness, we're just gonna have to push out. All right, after this fire truck, we can go. Look how close that is. All right, we are here. Let's take a look at the Freightliner. Oh, one was a sleeper. I didn't even notice sleeper in day cab. Nice, nice, nice. So let's head inside and let's go shopping, guys. So what should we get? Um, here's the dealership. This is going to be our first look at the day cab version, which looks really nice. Um, I want to, let's see what they have. So then they also have this one, this one with a little bit of a sleeper. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So let's customize one. So we're going to try to make a cool day cab version. Um, these trucks are pretty popular. I mean, they come in like all this different configurations, but they're pretty popular in day cab. So I'm going to get the truck set up, guys, um, and it will jump in and we will drive it. All right. So here's our Cascadia. Just finished customizing it. This thing looks awesome. I went with a day cab version of the truck. I'll probably make another one later and do a sleeper. We went all out, so we have like the aero kit, as you guys can see on top. We have the elite package all around. we are inside guys look at this now another cool thing about this truck this is actually one of the first trucks that SCS actually was able to take the truck for the day and do whatever they want with it as far as like recording and getting sounds and stuff like that so that is awesome so let's hop back into the game and let's take a look at this all right guys it is show time we're about to go ahead and get started uh, let's take a quick look at the truck one more time and we are ready to hop in. So we have the wheel camera, the steering wheel. I forgot to mention everything that we are using. I link it down below in the video description in case you guys want to check it out for yourself. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. 
Oh, you know what? I just remembered. This truck is automatic, guys. I forgot that the truck is automatic in real life, so I was like, you know what? We might as well not use the shifter today. We'll just uh, check out this automatic transmission and try to drive it how it would be driven in real life, you know? So let's go check it out. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. <laughs> I'm like getting ready to press the clutch and I don't even know how to. Keep left and then turn left. Alright, so we're picking up some machine parts turn from left. this place. Voltage and motors. You have motors. arrived at your destination. And your here's our trailer. Now finished. Oh, that's the cool sound in the horn. Oh, our windows are tinted the back. Oh, shoot. <laughs> forgot about it being an automatic. Yes, I forgot that this is an automatic in here. I'm thinking I put it in reverse and pressing the gas, but with this thing, I gotta actually press the brake to back up. It's kind of weird. All right, not the Let's do best this. lineup, but they're taking it, so we're gonna take it too. All right, so here's our load. I take this 135 miles. We also went back to, uh, where are we at right now? We're in Colorado and we're heading to Utah. Turn right. Go straight on. All right, let's see how she accelerates. See if we, how fast we get up to 55. Let's make that 65 now. <laughs> so cute. I like it. I like this truck. All right, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. As always, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. We have a cop right there on our left. We can't even speed if we wanted to, though, because this is an external contract. I figured we might as well finish up the, um... Oh, I wouldn't. We might as well finish up the, um... The cruising Colorado event. It looks like we got an accident up ahead. I see a helicopter. Oh goodness, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, it's actually on the other side. What, is it a police chase? What's oh, a police chase, guys? That is cool. I don't go think I've ever on. seen that before. They have the helicopter and everything. Where's the helicopter go? There it is. Praying I don't hit anything while I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, let's jump back inside. That was cool to see. Now I went all out with this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I got the wheel camera for you guys. I got the face cam for you guys. Normally I don't do all of this in a regular video, but I figured I really want you guys to enjoy this. So I'm gonna Keep left. Do everything and then that turn we can left. here. So I did use the Jake break there. You probably didn't even notice the thing was barely made a sound. But a lot of these trucks are so efficient now. Well, that's just a random pole in the middle of the road. I mean, I know it's not random, but that's kind of weird. Oh, it's turn a, yeah, Go straight on. So 
still good. Oh, I did it again. I can't Go straight Both on. Both of those buttons are messed up. One of these buttons are supposed to. Oh, this is the zoom in button. Okay, that's what I've been trying to do all day. Is zoom in so I can look at stuff. Okay. Now we got it. So we're coming up on Grand Junction, Colorado. And we should be crossing the border into Utah shortly. Have about 107 miles to go. It's going to take us an hour and 57 minutes of game time. It shouldn't be too long. We'll be there before you guys even notice. Go straight on. Oh. I almost didn't realize how close I was to that light. Basically in the intersection right now. Oops. Pizza House, Donut Planet. <laughs> it's funny seeing the names they come up for these, Go straight on. For these places here. Go straight on. Oh shoot, I just realized my bottom mirror needs to be adjusted. I can't even see out of that the way I'm supposed to be able to. So we gotta make sure we adjust that. Keep left, and then exit left. Now we're getting on the 70 west towards Utah. Hey, freight left. line of buddy, he's driving for Swift. Why are you stopping? I think he's yielding me. Twins! <laughs> oh, now he decides to go. <laughs> that was funny. So what does everybody think of Swift, the trucking company? I know a lot of people joke around with them. <laughs> anybody got any jokes? No, I'm just kidding. Speed limit here is 75. We're not going to be able to get up to 75 though because this is a external contract. Again, we're trying to finish up the cruise in Colorado. Uh, challenge so I figured we might as well do that today and um, our speed is locked at 65 so once we get here I cannot go any faster unless we are going downhill so we're stuck so for any other real truck drivers out there do you guys prefer driving um, manual trucks or automatic trucks I know a lot of people like manual better since they have more control over everything, but these automatics, I mean, obviously I never drove one in real life, but these automatics aren't too bad. I like that I could kind of just, you know, chill in the sense of not having to switch gears and stuff like that. Ah, oh, come on, please be close. Keep left. He's pulling, ah, oh, great. Can you guys hear the jig? Recomputing. All right, we got the skills. Let's see how much we weigh. Only forty thousand pounds. Such a light load today.
Colorado. And welcome to Utah, guys. Life elevated. Nice. Damn, the speed limit is 80 right now, guys. We can't even take advantage of that. That's all good. Only 50 miles to go, so should be there pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Appreciate everyone, especially those who enjoyed the video enough to make it all the way to the end. Oh, goodness. We're getting a lot of surprises. This guy just lost his load. Holy crap. Make sure we're paying attention out here. Crazy driving out here. Any of you guys live or drove on a road that's like 80 miles per hour speed limit? That's insane. It just seems so fast. But I mean, out here it's really nothing, and the roads are pretty smooth and well maintained. So you can't handle that speed. But 80 miles per hour legally? That is crazy. I have went 80 miles per hour and a 70, but like, you know how people always go over the speed limit? So if you're in an 80, do people drive like 90? That's crazy. Probably 90, 95. That is insane. Obviously, you're not supposed to do that, but you know how people always go a little bit above the speed limit. Turn left. We are off the highway, not sure what we are getting on to. This is south on 191 now. So it looks like this is going to take us to our final destination. It always sounds so weird saying that. I always think about the movie Final Destination. Really beautiful day here in the game. Oh, I thought he was coming over to my lane for a second. <laughs> but look at this scenery. This is just amazing. So beautiful. to go. I'm just flying through the city right now. Keep left. here guys we made it so now it is time for the best part of the video and that is trying to back this thing up now I haven't played in a little while so Get ready to turn left. hopefully I still remember how to do this properly I mean it's kind of like riding a bike once you learn it you kind of remember it but let's turn see left. so let me know in the comments section how many tries do you think it's gonna take me to park this thing I'm gonna guess I'm gonna, I, I, it normally takes me two tries. I'm going to say two tries. I'm going to try to 
I'm gonna say two tries. I'm gonna try to get it in one deal, but if I get it in two tries, I'm I'm happy. But you guys, let me know what you guys think, and let's see who is the closest and who is right in the comment section. Oh, this looks like a junkyard or scrapyard. Here we are, safe and sound. We made it. All right, let's see where they want us to put it. Right over there. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's take a look. All right, I think this is gonna be a pretty straightforward parking job. I want to get it close to this side and then we're just going to back it on up and around the corner and get it into that slot. First try. I didn't really try yet. We're not gonna count that one yet. That's not a efficient try. That was me just being silly. Let me pay attention for it this time. For real, for real. Let me show you guys how this done. One thing that is weird is I'm pressing the brake to move forward, so it's kind of messing me up a little bit. Let me just take a look and see where we're at. Right, I need the trailer to go all the way to the left. We're not really doing good today. I'm all in the metal, messing up my tires. Press on the brake, but I keep forgetting the brakes. Doesn't move forward. All right. Um, I think we just gotta pull forward. I think we got it. All right. It took me over two tries, guys. So I would say it took me about three tries. Counting the first messed up, second one, and this is not a third try here. Alright, we got it. Go ahead and set our parking brake, turn off our flashers, and let's get this thing unloaded. I forgot to drive with my windows open, guys. I should have done that. We'll do that on the next episode. So we got an excellent. We drove 134 miles. Took us 25 minutes. 21 gallons of fuel. And we are done. And we now did 9 out of 13. So I got to see when this thing ends. 
But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.